Remember when you do silly stuff and the older people in the group would say, it's gonna be harder to do that once you get older. I am officially that age now. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching England Anarchy. It's day one in Canada, and as such, we're tired because we drove all night from southern Wisconsin to here, which is Eagle Lake in Ontario. We're staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. Lovely little place to stay. I'll put their particulars in the description below if you'd like to uh, have a place to stay on beautiful, world-class, musky fishing Eagle Lake. Um, we took a little nap, so we missed the first part of the day. We had another group out who saw some muskies, so we're going to get out after it and see if we can't bump into something for you folks to see. All right, ladies and gents, I'm going to start out throwing a mid medusa, sort of a custom perch pattern that I had made years and years ago. Kind of a cool one. I got a, uh, just to get down into the weeds, I got a one ounce deep threat weight, throwing it on a nine foot Moab 2020 assault stick, 500 tranks with fins, 40G line. That's what I'm rocking. Louis got a surgical strike with an Esox Assault 109 that he's throwing. So we're going to see if we can get ourselves one of these Eagle Lake muskies. Fish. Yep. Yep, that's a good one. Feels good anyway. Oh yeah, dude. It's a good one. I just saw it get sideways out there. Ready? Just in case. Okay, yep, here we come. There we go. There we go, buddy. Good one. Yes. Yes. All right, folks. We've got our first Eagle Lake muskie. We've only seen one fish, fished quite a few spots. Came into some weeds and I started ripping um, a Medusa through them and this thing just absolutely crushed it. So we are gonna take a quick look at this beautiful Eagle Lake fish. Get out of there. Behave, behave. Hand underneath her. Oh yeah, dude. That is a good one. That is a good one to start off with. <laughs> all right. We got the bump board all wet. Hold on nice and tight. All right, lady, what do we got here? We got, oh yes, dude. That is a 48 and a quarter. 48 and a quarter. That is the way to start off. Oh, a four footer. Okay, okay. All right. If you're gonna do that, we'll get you back in the water. And there she goes. All right, that's an awesome start. I, we gotta keep going because I think we've got a minor right now. So we're gonna keep ripping some weeds and see if we can get another one here. And it's not fighting, is not giving you the big old head shakes yet. <laughs> There's fish. Oh, we just came off. Nope, nope, I got him, I got him, I got him.
You're good. All right, here we go. I think it's a big pike. Yep. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why don't you free yourself? Oh, free yourself, yeah. You know, we've got ourselves another fish. Wrong flavor, but it's the right size, I think. Uh, it's like trophy size pike. Uh, ripping that deusa through the weeds, such a good tactic that a lot of people don't use, but they should. Oh, stop it. All right. I don't know if she'll, just might be a stocky one. I don't know if she'll go 40 for us, but uh, we'll take a quick look. Nope, she's she's 38. So just a nice just look at the back on her though. What a thick fish. We'll get her back in. And go away so you don't splash me. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, cool. Well this seems to be working. We've got a mix of sun and clouds going on here. Um, but the fish are definitely going. We're getting a lot of hits from smaller pike, so it'd be nice to find ourselves another nice musky though. So I want to show you guys real quick how I fix medusas. Uh, you could take one of these little torches and just go straight on the plastic. It typically discolors it. So what I do is get a butter knife that my wife's not going to miss. Heat that sucker up. And I don't really think this works any better with two people because, um, I don't know, it just hasn't ever for me. So. Just throw the knife in between your knees, heat it up real nice and good. Take that part you want to fix, just pull it right off. You can dunk it in the water to set it up, but that is a handy little way to fix these plastic baits when you're out on the water. Oh, nice fish behind it. Keep going. Did you see him at all? He was kind of, he was low. Oh, that's Pike. Ooh, he's coming to you. I just saw that big ass fish. <laughs> There's so many things happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> Did no, you see I the fish? It. Yeah, it went towards you. I okay. thought it was going to go at you. Is he sitting below the Pike? There were so many Canadian things that just happened there. Yeah. <laughs> A musky follow, a pike, a loon being weird. Okie dokie. Oh. I think that had to have been a fish because I don't think there's rocks out there. Oh yeah, yeah, here he is. Got him. He's off, he's off. Yep, he bumped me out there. I told you there'd be one in front of here. Dang it. Oh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, keep this, this will hold multiple fish, man. An amazing start to our August Eagle Lake trip. I don't think I've ever started off a trip with a fish that big, a 48 and a quarter. Just an amazing way to start things off. Followed up with a big pike. We saw a couple fish. Unfortunately lost that one. And that's where we're going to end it. But the rest of this day is amazing. We get a couple more big fish. It is truly one of the best starts to an Eagle Lake trip that I've ever had. So please check out part two of this video next week. Saturdays at 8.30 are when all the videos on Angling Anarchy drop, so make sure to subscribe and you'll never have to worry about it because the internet will tell you when they're there and ready to watch. So 
With that, I appreciate every single one of you watching this, and I'll see you on the next video.